Hi, fans. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I started the backtesting series on synthetic indices a few days ago. And in today's video, I'll be looking at book 1000. So we are going to work together through the chat and see what book 1000 has been doing in a while. Now, remember our checklist. First, you want to find out structure structure what is the overall trend of the market so you want to find out the higher time frame point of interest or that institutional candle which as i said most of the times will cause a fair value gap an imbalance or an ipa and number three want to find the liquidity sweep that led to a break of structure you want to be able to identify all these things in the chart and lastly you find your entry now if you have not watched my video where i explained structure and how to use this checklist probably you are new to the channel or you have visited the channel before and you have not watched those video i'm going to be dropping the link in the video description of this page these are the videos here market structure the first edition the second edition then we started the back testing series yesterday we backtested VIX 10, which is currently playing out. And then we also backtested Crash 500. So find time, go through these videos, watch them for yourself, and then you can make out something good from it. And in case you have anything you don't understand, you can drop your comments and questions in the comment section of this video. As I, I do take out time to respond to all comments and answer all questions within the first, within two hours, I should be able to get to that. All right, let's look at Boom 1000. I want to find out what Boom 1000 has been doing. I said that um, in market structure, you want to first of all be able to identify the trend of the market. Is the market making series of higher highs, higher low, higher highs, higher low, higher highs? higher low in that order. You want to be able to identify something like this, spot them. It may not be picture perfect, but this is just an example of what the market should do if it is in an uptrend. It's an uptrend, example of an uptrend. It gives you a high, it gives you a low. It gives a higher high. Why is it a higher high? Because it is higher than this previous high. So this is a higher high. This is a higher low. It is high, but it's lower than the previous low. So this is an uptrend. We did that in the market structure videos. You can go check them out. Then there are times, as I said, market can just stay in one place. Let's say something like this. And it's giving you something like this. Can wick down, come up, wick up. And it's just within the zone. You want to be able to find out what the market is doing. This is what I will call consolidation or what is called consolidation. Consolidation, the market stays within a zone. Then if the market is trending lower, the market can come, give you weak all this out. Let's say some, maybe probably something like this. And then the markets are giving a series of a high, a low, a lower high gives you a lower low, gives you a lower high, a lower low, a lower high. You should be able to spot this movement in the market. This is the first thing to do. And as I said, structurally, you are going to want to get in on the buy when the market comes to a, when the market comes to a higher low. You want to get in on the buy from this place, you want to join the market up from this point. That's why you want to take your buys. And then if you want to take your sell or you want to short the market, you want to wait for that price to retrace backward. You don't want to wait for, you don't want to start selling when the price is in this region. You want to wait for price to retrace back and then you enter the sale all the way from 
here. So this is when the market is in a downtrend. Yeah, something like this. We're going to go through the chart and then we are able to see if we can spot this movement on boom 1000. You want to sell this, you want to wait for this place, market should come here. Then you sell at these premium zones, premium zones. Want to sell from all these zones and they take the market down. So if the market is here, you want to wait for the price to come up here, then you can enter from here, your stop loss on this high, then you can sell the market downward. If you want to identify this thing first, that is structure. What has price been doing? What is the trend of the market? This is the first thing to do in trading. So we're going to go straight to the chart. This is the 1000, as you can see on my screen. Let's find out what has been happening for a while. Let me pitch. Okay, this is, uh, let me go to the daily time frame. We start from the higher time frame. And then we are able to go through to see what price has been doing. Okay, let's put story behind price. Okay, let's say the market started from here. It gives us a high. It gives us this, a low. Can't I annotate on this? Is it too far? The history is too far. We will move forward a little. Okay, something like this. Let's see if I can annotate on this, on this. Okay, let me move forward. Let's, let's, let's look at this place. But from here, market gave us this high, gave us this low, gave us this high. Telling you that market is bullish. The market is still bullish, is bullish. And what did market do? Market retreats back into this place. I think around this place, yeah, market retreats to this place. Okay, market retreats to this place, market give us this. Market give us this, high, give us this low, and currently we may head for all time high. Yes, we may head for all time high. A high, a low, a higher high market give us a low. If you take your fib from here and they want to take from this low down to this high, your Fibonacci. I see this, this information is too backward, so I cannot get it out. Okay, let's go with this. We already know the market is bullish, the first thing to do. Now, when the market came here, market started retracing. What can we find from here? Market started giving us this pattern, gave us a lower high, gave us a lower low, gave us another lower high. I think market broke structure upward here, gave us this low again, and market came back again and started and broke this structure. Market broke this structure back downward. So the market has still been, is bearish on, remember this is the reversal, this is the retracement. Meanwhile, the overall trend is bullish. The overall trend of the market is bullish. So the market retraced back to this imbalance. There was an imbalance here, which was also a structural point. It was also a structural point, what we call support and resistance this was a structural point so market came back you can find you can spot the imbalance here this was an imbalance that price came into there was an imbalance around this region yeah this was the imbalance around this region market came into it and then market is going back again so since we are back testing let's find out what how would i be able to catch all this move down when market give us this Market gave us this market retreats to this place and gave us this high. There was a play here. Let's go to a lower time frame and find out how would have been able to catch this trade and all this long sell that we have in this place. How would have been able to catch it? We're able to catch this sell from here. 
putting it here and take this place all the way to this place. This will have given us around one to four. So I'm going to mark this place and I'm going to mark this place right now. I'll mark this place. Let's see what price did in this place. But before I mark that, since this is a back testing series, let me wipe this out. You will see that there was an imbalance within this region the market came into. There was an imbalance within this region the market came into. There was an imbalance. There was an imbalance in this region. You see this week and this week, they, are, they aren't touching. So market came into the imbalance and gave us a play. On lower time frame, we want to find out what would have done to this information that is here. So let me go to one hour. If we can get this information on one hour, how would I play this entry on one hour? Okay, let me go back. Let me go back. The information is long. I think we're able to spot the lower time frame in that picture. Oh. Okay. okay, let me go to four hours. My information is long. It's a long time. Price left that region. So we can't get the history right now. Okay, this is four hours. This is four hours. When price comes to your point of interest, the higher time frame point of interest, this was the higher time frame point of interest. Now let's see how would I be able to play this. I told you on one of my videos, the market structure videos, you want to see market do the same thing, the same thing. It will give you the same thing, rinse and repeat. It will give you this, create liquidity, it's trading upwards, create liquidity, then it will take out the liquidity, break structure to the downside, come back and retest, and then we can find our entry. This is what market will do, it will create this liquidity, there must be liquidity sweep. So once there's a liquidity sweep, we want to wait for price to come back to and then there's a change of character. It's telling you that the market has changed direction. It was going higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher. It went for a higher high and came and gave us a low. And then this was a break of structure. Price came, broke this region. This was a break of structure. Then you want to wait for price to retrace back into the institutional candle that took out liquidity and broke structure. This is the same thing we teach, the same thing. We want to wait for price to return back. After giving you this break of structure, price needs to come back and break. Price needs to retrace back into the area, the institutional candle that captured liquidity. So let's go to the chart now and see. You can see price gave us this high, this low, gave us this high. Is low, higher high, higher highs, higher high and a higher low. And price gave us this, gave us this. This was a high, this was a low, this was a higher high. And what did price do? Price came here, breaking this structure, these two structural point, came back into that last candle and then before it came down. When it came down and broke these places, it came back again to that same institutional candle and then we went down. So let me zoom out. I want to be able to get this. So let me remove this now so that we can go together. This is what happened here. Remember these four hours. Price came. This was the change of character. Because on lower time frame, this was a higher low. And price came and swept all the early sellers that were here. Price came and swept them away. Price came, swept out all the early sellers, gave us a change of character, telling you that market wants to begin to change of character, market wants to start going down. Market gave us a change of character at this region. Maybe I should make this one in 10. 
I just hope you're able to see it. Then market came here and broke this structure. This was the broken structure for me. This was the broken structure for me. Market came broke this structure. So we're waiting on this candle that captured liquidity. This candle. This candle. That's what we're looking for. Price to return back to. So the candle that captured liquidity. You can see that bullish candle. That bullish candle that went up. That was the candle that captured liquidity. Price came back to tap into. Look at the week. Let me raise it up. Look at the week. Just look at the week. This was the whole candle came here. This was the move from here. Move broke structure. This was the candle. This was the candle. Price came and tap into the candle. You can see, okay, the inter, you know, remember the candle started from here. This was the institutional candle that went up. Price came, tapped into it. And price returned back after breaking that structure. Price never came back to that region again. That was how price tapped into it. All right, if you had missed this first move, price came traded down after tapping into it, traded down to this place, broke this nest. This was the next structural point. You'd have been able to catch this. Price came back into this region. If price, you missed that, price came, broke this structure down. This was another break of structure down. What did price do? Price came back into this candle. If you can see, price came back into this candle. Into this candle. Price came back into this candle. This was the week of the candle. Price came back into this candle. Because the candle started from here. The move of the candle started from here. The move of that institutional candle started all the way from here. From here. It started from here. Price came back and tapped into it. You'd have been able to play this if you had shot this market from here. Let's say you missed this first entry, then you got in on this one. This would have been your best entry first entry the stop loss above this high and then you take this downward let's say you missed that first entry that would have given you one to five and then you'd have been able to play this second entry the stop loss on this high on this high now and then you take price downward this is how you'd have been able to catch this trade whoa 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 I've been on this trade for a very, very long time. Okay. If you have this, this has been you a one to ten. This has been you a one to ten. One to ten. Okay, let's assume you miss this second move. Price never leaves without us. Price will definitely come back and give us that um entry. So price started giving you this movement. I give you this movement. You can see the movement. Price gave you this movement. Gave you this movement. There were entries that have been able to catch in this place. Let me show you. But back testing. So let's take it count. Let's take it step by step. Let me remove this. Price came. What did price do when price was going? Price came and swept these lows. These lows were taken away. If you watch closely, there was an imbalance here that price came into. There was an imbalance that was left here. Price came into this imbalance and price left. Price came into this imbalance. This would have been another entry. You missed that entry and then price came and swept this lows. Price already bearish, so you just want to keep selling and keep adding different, different, um, just want to keep adding positions as the market keeps going down. So price swept this lows. Price had to trade back into the imbalance. But I would have not been filled on this because I would have taken the imbalance above. I would have played this. Price didn't feel you. What did price do? Price gave us uh, an impulsive move downwards and came back into this imbalance. There was an imbalance around this region. That price came into. 
price came into this imbalance. I won't have been filled on this because I would have played the top imbalance. All right, let's go. Price kept giving us that move, giving us period to enter. At the time, price came, gave us this and gave us this. Why did price come here? There was an imbalance around this place. You can see this imbalance here. That's where price came into and gave us this. It didn't close below this. So price was already changing direction. Price already changing direction. Price came. Oh, what did I do? All right. I think I can find where it was. All right. Yeah, maybe around this place. Yeah, around this place. Price started giving you something like this. I think I can remove this now. I started giving you something like this, telling you that I'm going up, breaking this structural level. Price broke this. This was a break of structure for the lower time frame. Price broke this last low. This last lower high. Price broke this. What did price do? Price came back into this imbalance somewhere around here. Price came back into this imbalance. There's an imbalance here. Price came to fear. Yeah, this was the imbalance from this week down to this week. So this week comes to back to the imbalance. Okay. Price came back, tested it. And price came back the second time. And then this current movement that we're seeing now is the movement because price has broken structure. Price broke structure and price has still been buying. We call this out on the Telegram group. If you are not on the Telegram group, do well to join. I'm going to be leaving the link to the Telegram group on this channel so that you can join. When price came to this place, price broke this high. As price broke this high, now price has changed course. This is already a break of structure, telling you that I'm going up. I think price is bullish now. Price they broke this high. What happened? We expected price to come back into this imbalance. You can see an imbalance within that place. You can spot the imbalance there. Price came into this imbalance. And then price begin to move. So let me put this here. Let me remove this. Let me open it for you. You can see that imbalance. What did price do? Price came back inside. Close the imbalance. You have just had your entry on this place. I just had your entry here. The stop loss here. The stop loss on this low. And then you'd have had a sweet one to yeah one to ten the sweet one to ten yeah i'll have that okay let's go ahead you missed this first entry this would have been a good entry also if you had played this imbalance as your entry you had your stop loss here i've had this first one to three before price broke here came back and then if you had held this one this would have been another one to four but they had time frame. All right, let's go. Let me show you another entry you have also got in. What did price do? Price broke this high. As price broke this high, what are we expecting? We expect price to come back to this imbalance. See this whole imbalance that is here? Price came back into it. Wow. You can see that now. Price came back into this imbalance and moved. This would have given you Okay, let's say you played here, you played the open of this imbalance, and then your stop loss here is on this week. I think this goes to one. Okay, this one to one, yes, that's not really me. But I'm going to go to a lower time frame and see if you would have been able to get entry on a lower time frame on these different spots. This different spot. You don't want to play for hours, the stop loss is going to be wide. So you want to go to a lower time frame and find out if you would have been able to get an entry. So let me go to 15 minutes. Let me see if I can get that data. I can get a data for 15 minutes. Yes, 15 minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see our first entry. Okay. 
this was our first entry. This was our first entry. Just work with me. Let's go gradually. Price will do the same thing. Like price will always do the same thing. So I think I can remove this now so that we can have something clear here. Okay. Price was trading down. Trading down. Of course, you know, this market was just going down. Now all of a sudden, price went up. So this, there was a break of structure here. I'll wide it for you. Good. It's clearer now. You can see it now. So this was a, a liquidity sweep. Price came, swept this. You can see that candle closed, came and weak out this. It was swept and price broke this last structure up when this was the last lower high. Price broke this. This was break of structure in this place. This lower time frame. So since price broke this structure, price needed to come back into it. If you had played this, you played this in balance, you'd have been taken out of this trade, I'm sure. Yes, this week came and took you out. That's that. You were wicked out of the trade. Okay, price came into this place, rested back here because, because it was a structural point and price moved. So let's go to the next place. You, you couldn't get an entry here. We are wicked out because obviously this would have been my entry. I got on this actually. And then if you follow the system where we give some gap on stop loss, we add about 30 pips or three pips extra. You wouldn't have been wicked out. But let's say we are wicked out. Let's go to the next entry we had. This was our next entry. Let's find out if we got that entry. Okay. Okay, this was the entry. Price came. Took out this liquidity. Price came. Broke this high. This was your break of structure. What did price do? Price came back into this imbalance. Okay, this is supposed to be the imbalance. Price didn't come into that place. You'd have missed that entry as well. But this is the whole institutional candle. If you had played 50% of it, I think you'd have gotten this. You missed that. Price gave another entry here. Another entry. Price broke that. Then this would have been your next entry. This first entry is to be your second entry. Price came back and gave us this entry. Price must give an entry. That one is sure. Price must give an entry. Let's go. Price came, broke this high. It's 15 minutes, lower time frame. Price didn't come back and price kept going. Let's go. Price kept going. At the time, price came, cleared all these lows, traded back into this place. This was the structural point and price left. This would have been another entry. Let's see if price gave us an entry at this place. Of course, price did because I played this one personally. Okay, price came, broke this structure. Let me open this. I think you can see it's clear now. After sweeping this lows, then price came back into this imbalance. I think I should remove this. Price came back into this imbalance. The imbalance started from here. Price came back into this imbalance. And we had this. So assuming this was the one you caught, you caught this one and you had a, your entry here at the open of the candle that swept liquidity, your stop loss here. This move alone, it's a... Uh, Around one to nine. This around one to nine. So price will always give entry, like always give entry. Let's go to H4, the four hours time frame. Let's see what price is currently doing. Do we uh, expect price to keep going up or price should keep coming down? Now let's look at this H4. Let's analyze what this asset holds right now. 
price has cleared this high, there is an imbalance around this place that price came into. So price really do not have any business here again. Price really do not have any business here again. Okay, no. All right, price really do not have any business here again, but let's see. This is what I am seeing. Price came, broke this low, broke this high rather. I don't need this right now. Price came from this. So what can you find? There's an imbalance down here. There's an imbalance down here that price should come back to feel. There's an imbalance down here that price ought to come back to feel. And then if we check up, 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 we want to look at this place. You see there's an imbalance here also that is yet to be captured. There's an imbalance around this place that has not been captured. Yeah, there's an imbalance around this place that has not been captured. So probably price should come into this place. Price should come back into this place. And then we should head to this zone. Price should come back into this place and we head to this zone. This is what I'm anticipating. So please keep an eye back test. Check out what we are offering. 